Welcome back. This particular video is about hyper. When I talk about hyper, hypering, that's about your RSS resources. Your castle, every castle produces some sort of resources. So this particular one here, it produces uh, food. This one is for ore, stone, and wood. My particular, this particular castle here, it's uh, it's a regular castle, but it's also a hyper for stone. And almost all all of my resource buildings out here is all quarry, and most of them are level 25. I stopped upgrading them at level 24 on certain ones just because I ran out of those golden keys and I didn't feel like buying anymore and I didn't feel that it was necessary because of the amount that I'm producing right now it um, you know I don't really need to bump anymore so what I'm producing right now is per hour 3.588 million stones per hour which basically you do that 24 hours so I'm making like 80 million stones per day right so do I need to make any more I don't really think so so how did I get here first thing you should consider when hypering is what type of frontline or troops are you going to be making the most or losing the most so let's say you're doing infantry infantry it requires wood and ore the most so it really you know you're going to need those so you should either maybe hyper on wood or ore for me when i uh when I first started building this I thought I was going to be mainly calf and the guild itself kind of needed a lot of the stones as well so I started a um, stone hyper and how did I get to making 80 million per day and there are a few others out there making even more than that and I find that 80 million what I'm making more than enough covers for me and my other castles or guild mates that you know you see right here on your right side it says I have 18.2 and it's not even halfway full yet and as long as it's not yellow like this wood that means it's still producing so and once it gets to close to being full I will send it out I'll ask on the guild chat if anybody needs it or not and that's what I'll do so again how did I get to this it, it doesn't just building these to 25 doesn't get you that amount one thing you need to consider in upgrading is your heroes let's look at your heroes and I am going to look at for example uh, if you go to one of your hero tabs the second one you see on C Squire at gold grade it's able to up your stone production to 150 percent so if you have them at silver 7.5 percent so a huge difference for your heroes being in the right grade so this and another one there's always two heroes that you can do uh death knight i believe is another stone production under 50 percent so those two heroes alone gives me 300 percent upgrade on my stone production now let's look at my stats here if i go down it'll say my stone production is at 820 percent now if i go to my innate talent or talent how i got it set i pretty much do i don't need to do any more construction in this particular castle anymore so i have no construction or i allocated none to construction everything that i have i pumped into stone production 
Now I still have my training and research, but as I go down, since I'm not planning on fighting, I don't have anything allocated to my fighting area either. So anytime you're in a non-combat mode, you should do more for your research, construction, and troop building. So stone production, there's my second one, it's also maxed, and on the bottom, stone production is maxed. And each of these, like this one right here, if I max out the bottom, it gives me additional 288%. So that's how I'm able to get 800% stat. And just doing those three increases is so much. Another thing I can actually do is Having being in that particular gear, uh, do I have any stone? Like this one will do gold production rate by 49%. So let's say I equip that and I can do, let me see, what's a stone? Is this one? That's ore production, gold, timber. Maybe I don't have stone. But if you did have stone, you could set those as well and they will increase let me see on this here's a stone production 23 percent so i will equip that on here i think hmm. maybe i don't know. okay oh wow yeah i need to make some more gear i guess uh let me see is this a stone no timber so i can set certain ones like this will be fruit production this will be ore or timber production so if i'm not in a war time whatever then i'll i can potentially set them to what i need but in my case i didn't do much on stone or equipment for that and i think i'm well this particular castle is a uh, griffin trap so i use mix set is what i use so i don't pay attention to any other type of equipment anyway but this particular one here is a stone production so 23 percent and we yeah we set that at 23 percent additional right so let me see if it takes an effect here so my stone production oh man i, I don't remember what it was but 843 currently so those basically being in the gear having the right talent set having the heroes upgraded they'll and having the buildings as much as you can pretty much puts a lot of your uh, production way up there and most of the time your your in your bag that will be whatever you're hypering will be your highest that you have in the bags like this particular account has 1.72 billion stones and i hardly ever ever open it accidentally i think i recently maybe opened like half a billion accidentally but that's uh, another story uh, but also the last thing you can do is going to your familiars and some of your familiars will increase your stone capability or production rate so let's see boulder is one of them so if i were to actually increase this then it will increase my stone production at level 10 it'll go up to 35 percent Hey, you notice I haven't even maxed this out just because I'm busy with other familiars. And at this rate, what I'm producing on stones, I don't really need to push anymore. I mean, 80 million per day on stone production, that's pretty significant. And that's well more than enough for yourself. So I usually make trades with other hypers around the guild, but that's pretty much how you uh, do the hypering on your castle and I think I personally in my opinion I think everybody should hyper some sort of, of um, resource instead of going a bunch of different type and to wrap this up one thing if you are hypering food 
you know the troops will eat up your food. So it's best to hyper food in a non uh, on castles that you're not planning on having troops on. And that will probably be same castle that's going to hyper gold as well because Maynard on top it produces gold and just having one simple Maynard it's not gonna do much but having a whole bunch of them you can take it up to half a million or around half a million gold per hour which once you get to T4 gold becomes very very uh, useful so I would suggest that and um, one thing, if you are a bank, I would consider also hypering, I mean, you being a bank, hypering something is really not going to help until you actually get empty. Because so many people in guild is going to send you all different type of resources that it's uh, pretty much not going to uh, produce once it reaches yellow so what I would suggest is maybe have another storage bank for a particular hyper if you're going to do that but um, so my setup usually I got two different castles see I, I get wood sent to here and then I send out my stones to a castle that makes all the wood so the other one will have a whole bunch of stone, another one, this one will have a whole bunch of wood, and vice versa. That pretty much wraps it up on Hypering. If you got any questions or comments, uh, post it on the bottom, send me a message, and we'll talk about it. If I missed something, go ahead and feel free to add in the comment section as well. Okay? Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on another set.